Yeah, I'm having to kick off. Um, start with Ryan. Firstly, um, being in Wallaby's camp this time around, was there a different feeling around Veda Jones, or was it kind of being stunned? Uh, yeah, I'd say there's a different feeling. There's probably a bit of angst getting around. We don't really know what to expect yet. Uh, but it's very early. I haven't actually seen him yet. So, uh, yeah, all the boys, all the Tars boys just rocked up. And, uh, yeah, we're just quite a dribble in it at the moment. Listen, you're what, two, three months in the squad. Does that feel with confidence knowing just seeing the rates is how well he went, particularly uh, how well he started the season? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's nice. You know, it's just the first camp and we've got to continue to play well. Uh, across the rest of the season to uh, make sure that um, I'm there at the end. Well, he's coming into 23 and you, know, you spent a lot of time in Australia and right? captaining that side. I was just wondering, having that experience and getting that taste of that another level, how's that kind of helped you progress your game and bring a lot of confidence into this year, but maybe? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it was a great program. The Aussie uh, is one of the best trips I've been on. I uh, gone over to Japan and then just being exposed to that high level of footy, um, you know, it's, yeah, it's great. You know, it, it really helps, uh, hopefully close the gap between uh, Super Rugby and uh, International. Fun. Stick with you, um, Ryan. What's the point of difference? You like in your game to the other halfback steer you're in with Stroh? Uh, I like to take pride in my uh, core skills, my kicking and my, my pass. Um, and then just my game understanding, I, I just like to uh, sort of, be nice traditional around the halfback role and uh yeah have quality core skills and then uh i think my game control um is uh something that i yeah pride myself on he's still around a nice spot with net whites uh coach of the Gerard boys with the sets after the game um on the weekends um how, how much has he added to the build game what were some of the the key things that uh, he's up to with uh i think yeah, he, he's brought like a different uh, sort of perspective. I think I've had some great nines uh, at the Brumbies uh, in my career. You know, the Thomas Cavelli, Joe Powell, and then Whitey. Um, and I think I've just learned off them uh, progressively through my career. His kicking game, you know, is uh, obviously world class, and I've taken some pointers off him around uh, around that. Um, Brian, you just mentioned before that you don't see. Any yet? Um, and Josh, have you seen any yet, or is it just that? Uh, yeah, what's the situation there? Of course. Nah, not as yet. We just rocked up a couple of medicals this morning, and um, just chatting the boys for that. Yet to see him. Just introducing cells to all the new staff and getting to know everyone so far. Then and on and on. The boys just come back. So I asked this question. Then he's just bit of talking about how the players are going to find a bit more of themselves. And are you two ready for what's you know, about to happen over the next couple of days, do you feel like that's just been a central theme that all the players in the Super Rugby have been shining for this year, more than perhaps the previous years? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can be as ready as you can, but we don't really know what's coming, so I uh, guess to see what happens. Um, you know, I was just open minded and expect anything really, so yeah, more with all. Yeah, no, I was at State Bank, that was open mind and just enjoy it, soak it up. Is there any mentality like around what you might be up to? Well, there's some infamous stories around there. You know, James Askell a bit as a group strength and uh, is he only hanging on just the other guys? Looking forward to kind of embracing that sort of stuff and what Eddie might Yeah, definitely. It's going to be something new, you know, working with a new coach and all the boys. It's We're all in the same uh, package at the moment, so we all don't know what to expect, but it's exciting to be able to see something new and experience something new as well. Yeah, Josh, just how important was that win? Um, I know it's Super Rugby was, but how important was it to get a minute against Moana? And I dare say everyone will sit a bit happier coming into a world this camp when you, when you come off the bat a week. Yeah, definitely. It was huge for us, you know. It uh, starts heading our season in the right direction again, so that it was massive to get the win, especially over there. You know, they're pretty passionate people over there, and uh, it was a great game, but the boys were definitely stoked on the flight back and then race coming in today a little bit easier as well. Right, just send them another one to you. How, how nerve-wracking is it meeting a new coach and I guess wanting to make that good first impression? Yeah, it is quite nerve-wracking. Um, I haven't actually read it yet, so I'm still nervous. But uh, yeah, you know, you've got to uh, um, you know, try to get the, the right first impression there. But at the end of the day, you, you've got to train well or play well as well. You know, like uh, I think we've all proved ourselves up to this point, but yeah, it's just starting. So 
yeah, just try and press over the three days and then continue to impress uh, throughout Super Rugby. And and this seems to have quite a bit of an aura about it. What did you make that I've been looking from afar when I spoke to Ming Wen just seeing his press conferences and then things like that? As a player, well, when does he make them at that point? Yeah, he does. Um, I don't, don't really know what to make of it, to be honest. It, it's like, uh, I'm still haven't met him, so it, um, it's sort of still just the, what I've seen and what I've read. So, yeah, I'm going to be very interested to uh, see how we go. Good, thanks for that. What, the, the both of you, how much, if any, sort of communication or phone calls or texts or anything with Eddie did you have before the, the announcement of, of this squad? I'm actually yet to speak to him still. So today will be the first time I'm said say my first week's words to him and beat him in person. So, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, I met him at a trial game in Wargo, I think it was. We just had a, had a quick chat. So, no, yeah, no my games or tips or, you know, anything you need to work on or anything like that at that stage? No, no, yeah, draw the talent. Cheers, guys. Is, is there a real, Ryan, is there a little bit of fun with that, with the scrape that you're there, but do you guys fear that if you die and Chris that you might not come back and, and really that first impression is going to be crucial? Yeah, I think it's, the pressure's always there. You know, when you're here, you've got to perform and if you don't, you, you uh, won't be here next time. So... Um, you know, like we've done, we've done well to get here, but you got to understand that you can't just be happy making it, especially just the first camp. Um, so there's a whole lot of work to be done to be able to come together as a group, and yeah, you know, you got to put your all into that. And is there a element of the drive? You and your brother there as well. But it's must be pretty, pretty special for the facility. Yeah, it's awesome. It's uh, super special. It's, I think I played more teams with him than with the adding, to be honest. So it's probably a little bit. Uh, more the other way around. It's it's sort of different when I'll play in a team when he's not there. So uh, I've kind of got used to uh, him being around, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, is there that a brotherly kind of teaching, that rivalry, but he's got a couple of weeks, she comes up with you at this stage? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, we've always got along really well. Uh, people thought, sort of, uh, thought that was weird when we were young because uh, a lot of brothers don't really get along and We've kind of just been best mates our whole life, so uh, I think I'm always just happy for him. There's a little bit of competitiveness there, but uh, I guess we're going to have to move on from that. Josh, I think it's about 11 months since you did your shot on number one again last May. Um, just cutting too fast, things, you kind of better think that this, when you're going through the ring up process, you get a call up so soon. I guess the follow up is how many did you kind of go about rebuilding the confidence back and back, back and so you can take the line on so, so efficiently? Nah, definitely not. I, it was never a thought in my mind that would be sitting here or in the camp today. So, um, nah, that I was able to work hard, you know, you got to put that to the back of your head, work hard with our physios and strength conditioning, uh, into the Reds over the, the off season. And, um, now nah, we were lucky enough to have here, the Reds played a couple, uh, of friendlies, you could say against a club team that was put together. So it gave me a little bit of confidence, uh, in that. And then we also had the Japan tour up. So it just allowed me to get a couple of games in and know that it was perfectly perfectly fine coming into the season. I guess for yourself, you've kind of swapped between Sarah and Wing over the past 12, 18 months. Do you see that as a real kind of point of difference when Maggie gets maybe potentially other centers you might be going up against a World Cup spot or a test spot? Uh, yeah, I think these days uh, a person's got to play multiple positions. So it's good that I've been able to have a little bit of time in uh, both positions and um, be able to learn the roles of both. But um, yeah, no, it's good that I've had that opportunity to play both, but yeah. Last one online, most thanks, and then we'll uh, finish the Zoom component. Thanks. Hey, Josh, the um, the Conrad Smith comparison's been thrown out by a few people, including Brent Thorne. Is that to see somebody watched growing up, and what do you, what do you make of that? Obviously, quite flattery, I guess. Yeah, it was very cool to be able to uh, put my name next to his and a similar player, but not nah, uh, growing up, kind of moved throughout the back line, so watched a bit of everyone, started as a 10. Like I think we all do, um, but Nat nah, moved to, to 13 uh, back in grade 10. So ever since then, I've definitely tried to dev develop my game around to him because he's one of the best in the world to do it. So no, nah, it's pretty cool that one A has been linked to him and stuff like that.